Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021. All right, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we've got some circled down answers in today's grid. Let's start with one across. Plays for time in a way. Hmm. This has to end in an S, right? It's present tense. So it can't be stalls. I wonder if it's vamps. That's kind of when you're like speaking extemporaneously to kill time. Let's see if we can confirm that on the downs. Malware often. That's usually a virus, right? Or it can be a virus. Nice. I think that confirms vamps. That's good. Curiosity killed the cat, e.g. That's an example of an adage. Cats are very curious. Okay, so this is a grid spanner, isn't it, actually? Two of these circled downs are grid spanners. All right, let's take a peek at this first one here. Author of Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, I've read that one, actually. That's Michael Crichton. Michael... Uh... No H there. Okay, I think it's C-H-T-O-N. There we go. All right. Yeah, Michael Crichton's funny. After you read a few of his books, you kind of get that his uh, MO is that there's always an evil corporation experimenting with technology and it always goes catastrophically wrong. Yeah, it's pretty much the synopsis of every Michael Crichton book. All right, so we've got six circled letters here and it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's saying circle backwards, right? C-I-R-C-L-E. Okay, interesting. I wonder if we'll have different shapes, although, though all the rest of them are four letters long. Hmm, I wonder how this is gonna be working. Okay, Mario Kart contestant. That could be a racer, I guess. Bozo is an idiot. Is this Edgar Allan Poe, who wrote Two Helen and Four Annie? I guess so, yeah. Ambles, I guess could be strolls. Casual walk. Decorative items washed up on the beach. Uh, hmm. Well, I like that it starts with C. It's not seashells though, hmm. What's this one? Flotsam and Jetsam in The Little Mermaid. Yeah, those are both eels. That was Ursula's little henchman, right? Nerdy sort. Is it a geek? Maybe. Oh, and then this could be sea glass. Okay, yeah, that is kind of decorative. Okay. Black blank? I guess that could be black ops. And then that gives us a good start on this next themed down here. Shift blame to someone else. That's usually called passing the buck, right? So that would be pass the buck? Hmm. So what does that give us here? Cube? Okay, well, this is a 2D shape. This is a 3D shape. Hmm. And they're all running up. Hmm. I still, hopefully we're gonna get a revealer at some point that kind of makes sense of this. It's very interesting. Okay, the Lorax's final word. Oh. It's been a long time since I've read the Lorax. Is it unless? Is this a U? Locales for some Grecian art. Uh, is it urns, maybe? They put art on urns in Greece, right? Is this an N? A cozy place? That could be a nook, right? All right, let's just confirm we got these on the crossing here. Hollywood's Dwayne Johnson with the, yeah, that's The Rock. Neither's partner is Nor, yeah. And bit of water or snow equipment. A ski, yeah. Because you can water ski and ski on snow. Okay. I guess it was unless. Boy, I gotta read that again. Okay, digs. Uh, digs is a slang term for a house or an apartment, right? Hmm. It can also be slang for really liking something. Neither of those seem to work here, though. Can it, an equivalent phrase. That's gotta be shut up, right? Okay. 
you know what? I have a feeling our revealer's probably at the bottom, so I'm gonna start working back up this way because I don't want to get the revealer before we get these last two and maybe we can have a shot at maybe guessing at what the theme is. What a QR code at a restaurant might link to. That could be a menu. I've been seeing a lot of that, um, having gone to a few restaurants post-vaccination and a lot of them are doing QR code menus. It's kind of nice, actually. Okay, wedge, e.g. Uh, that's a kind of a shoe. Yeah, okay. Thither. <laughs> that's a old-timey way of saying over there, right? Another old-timey word for that is yon. Like the blood of a universal donor. I think that's type O. I think O is the universal donor type. Get it together. Or a hint to the highlighted letters. Oh, I was trying to avoid the revealer. Um, okay, well, I mean, get it together, that equivalent phrase is definitely going to be shape up, right? And then that just gives us shapes that are going up. Okay, that's, that's fine. I don't know if I would have come up with that, but uh, yeah, that seems like a perfectly good revealer for these shapes going up okay blank duncan obama education secretary Ooh, yeah i don't know that one crusty piece of bread it's at the heel that's kind of like the butt end of a loaf of bread right okay four that's kind of poetic speak for before right and air is another kind of poetic word for before okay beats me Another equivalent phrase. Can we think of the shape that this might be? Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, that would help, but I'm having trouble thinking of a shape that would fit there. Let's move up to this top section. Support structure could be a truss, I believe, is a name for a support structure. Like some cross beams. 13th century Persian mystic who is one of the best-selling poets in the U.S. Whoa. Uh, I don't know this one. That's wild. He's best-selling still? Word repeated by Hamlet before solid flesh. Uh, I don't know. Is it tis, maybe? Not in the closet. I guess that would be out, right? Um... Hmm, I don't know this quote from Hamlet. Muscat's Sultanate. Hmm. I don't know what this is asking. I'm not sure what Muscat is. Yikes. Is a Sultanate like a country? It might be. Is it like Oman? Hmm. This is a tough little section here. The Aggies of the Mountain West Conference. Oh, man. Um, I mean, it's sort of looking like it's going to be Utah. Is it like Utah State? Sounds like a plausible name for a college. And then uh, we were thinking this might be Oman, right? Indigenous. Uh, could that be native, maybe? Like a plant that's indigenous? To an area could be native. Okay. Beats me. Hmm. Still not sure about that. Okay. It may turn at a station. Um, I guess that could be a style, right? Like a turnstile. Meal accompaniment at a trattoria. Hmm. This is the word for a restaurant in Italian, right? So maybe it's like wine in Italian? That could be vino, right? Does that help at all? I have no idea. That does. It helps a lot, that kind of unusual V there. I have no idea. What does that give us? Uh-oh. That can't be right. It can't be I own, right? So maybe it's a cone, and then it could be I have no clue. There we go. All right, we've got a circle, a cube, and a cone. Two 3D shapes and one 2D shape. And then another 2D shape. It looks like this is going to be oval, right? Let's take a peek at this one. Fleeting romantic interest. 
Hmm. So an interest that doesn't last long. Is that a flavor of the month? Maybe flavor of the week, an even shorter fleeting romantic interest. Okay. That's a nice phrase there. I like that flavor of the week. That's good. Okay, cookout side dish. I guess that would be slaw, right? Coleslaw? I like coleslaw a lot. Okay, actor John or Sean? Sean Astin? John Astin? I don't know if I know John Astin. Are they related? Hairstyle for Audrey Lord. I guess that could be an afro. I'm not sure who Audrey Lord is. Give feedback on Yup, maybe. Rate, yes. Fall short is O. Oh, yeah, if we're talking about money. Ah, uh, boy. Two, two solid flesh. It doesn't sound familiar. It could be, though. And then roomy sounds kind of plausible. Ugh, let's leave that for last, though. Stick up could be Rob, like if you're going to stick up a bank or something. Okay. Musician Yoko, that's Yoko Ono. Tech that enables contactless credit card payments. Ooh. Um, oh, what is this acronym? It starts with an N. It's like NFIC, near field something something. Is that right? Let's take a look here. Corpus. Hmm. Shouldn't that be body? Like body of work kind of? Hmm. Roger that boss, an equivalent phrase. That could be on it. So maybe it's N-I-F-D? Is that right? Loquacious is another word for chatty. Yes, that's good. Okay, so maybe it is... Boy, I thought it was N-I-F-C. It's N-F-I-D? Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I guess maybe this is an acronym that I'm just not familiar with. And the uh, goose can hopefully fill us in on what that means. Farrier's tool. Ooh. I think we learned what a farrier was a month or two ago. What was that? Is this somebody that... No? Hmm. Is it something to do with shoes? I don't know. Verdant. That could be lush. Verdant is green. Farrier's tool. Hmm. Like the same old, same old. Is that humdrum? I really like that. It's a great entry there. Most desirable, say, as a ripe peach. Hmm. Is this plumest? No, that should be plumpest, I think, right? Yeah. Plumest would only apply to plums, probably, right? Okay, so maybe this is a hasp? No, a rasp, right? Because that's a kind of a file. Um, RFID. Okay, I have heard that. That's like radio frequency ID or something like that. All right. There we go. All right. So what's this? This just looks like three, doesn't it? Um, what else could three eyes be? It starts with a W. Hmm. Actress Vergara. Hmm. I think it's Sophia, right? Quick to snap could be testy. Although, what is this? Whoa? Why is this whoa? Hmm. Is there something wrong down here? Underwater ecosystems is reefs. That sounds good. Start of a saying about staying fit. Use it or lose it. And then Adam who directed the big short. That's Adam McKay, right? So that gives us escape for exit key. Yeah, that all looks good. What in the world does this mean? Goose, do you know what this means? Why is this three dash thing? Whoa. Huh. Where Boxing Day comes before Christmas in brief. Hmm. I guess this is a play on words, right? So... I mean, this is alphabetical, so maybe it comes before Christmas in the Oxford English Dictionary, if... I guess these probably are both entries in the dictionary. Okay. Yeah, because usually Boxing Day comes after Christmas, right? That's a little clever 
wordplay there. Good things to strike. I guess uh, a load, like a load of ore. That would be a good strike. One providing a ride at a fair maybe could be a pony. It may be taken in protest, could be a knee, yeah. Is the Pope Catholic <laughs> wordplay? <laughs> Is this just yes? <laughs> I, I guess it is, weird. This isn't really wordplay, is it? I don't know, what a weird clue. I've never seen one like that before. Okay, French word between two names. I guess this could be nay. Like when you're talking about a maiden name, you could say nay in front of it. it means you were born with a different name. Okay, jiffy. Could that be a hot second? I'll have it ready in a jiffy. Strike hard in the Bible could be smite. Everyone was getting smitten in the Bible. Okay, crib, yeah, yeah. Like MTV cribs, kind of, okay. Hiding soldiers in the Trojan horse and such. I guess those could be ruses. Okay, loan could be soul. Reminds us of our fishing hooks theme from last week. Cooling succulent, I guess that could be aloe. Tricked could be had, and then layers are dens, yes. Okay, I don't think we've been had. Let's just confirm that by filling out this top section here. Okay, we thought this was roomy, right? And then this is Oman and this is two. Let's see if that does it for us. Okay, nice. 1744 seems like a pretty good time for a Wednesday for us. This little section was very tricky. Rumi, I do feel like I've seen this name before. Um, yeah, Muscat, is that a city in Oman? Wow, that's very hard. Okay, how do we feel about this shape up theme? Um, I think for a Wednesday, maybe it's a little Simple, I don't want to say it's humdrum, but I don't know. It does maybe, I mean, having things in circles and going up seems a little, maybe just a little complicated for a Tuesday theme. So maybe it's on the appropriate day of the week, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it For some reason it, it played just a little easy or something. Like, I don't know what I would want to change it though. I mean, I think maybe it's fine. Yeah, um, and I liked all the the long fill on all the answers that have the shapes in them. Flavor of the week, I have no clue. Pass the buck and Michael Crichton are all really good. Michael Crichton, what an interesting thing to notice that he has the word circle backwards in his name. It's amazing how these constructors come up with these things. And there's some other good long fill too, like Hot Second, I liked a lot. Sea Glass, very pretty. Humdrum, of course, very good. Um, yeah, it seemed pretty smooth overall. Oh, we didn't take a peek at this one. What is this? Arnie Duncan, okay. All right, yeah, never would have gotten that one. All right, well, I do think we were able to shape up and solve this Wednesday puzzle pretty smoothly. I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.